Hey everybody, I'm glad to let everybody know that I am hosting another upcoming stick pen swap. And the themes are going to be New Year's, Classic Christmas, and Winter Wonderland. Now, if you want to sign up, just comment under this video or PM me. And as far as the colors go, it's exactly as the themes. Classic Christmas means... You know, reds, greens, silvers, golds, uh, end caps, charms, you know, everything that has to do with classic Christmas colors. Winter Wonderland is going to be whites, clears, blues, all shades of blue, all shades of silvers, uh, whites, you know, just exactly what uh, Winter Wonderland means, but in color. And then, of course, New Year's, which is, you know, going to be golds and blacks and silvers and sparkly beads and, you know, whatever you can find. Now, I do not know how many stick pens we're going to be required to make. I would say at least 15 or 20 will be the minimum. But I won't know until the sign-ups close, which they will close November 5th. So, definitely comment under the video or PM me. Now, you will have to have them shipped out, uh, I'd say, by December 15th, December 20th. Uh, somewhere around there. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a partner swap, a host swap, or a group swap. It's just all going to depend on how many people sign up. But, if it is a host swap, I want to make it clear to everybody that no matter what shipping packages you decide to send to your host, make sure that there is a second package that is filled out with your name as the sender and your name as the receiver and then it's folded up and put into the package sent to me okay now of course the package sent to me is going to be addressed to me from you but the package folded up on the inside has to have postage on it already and be addressed to you and from you so just remember that also Remember, you want to include a Ziploc bag that should have all your pens and your presentation tags or cards that you make. So, make sure you do that. Now, as far as the presentation tags or tags in general, um, all you have to do is have some sort of decorated tag for each pen or each set of pens or a presentation card and it also has to have all your information because I do a video so any information you want everybody to know such as blogs, YouTube channels, stores, uh, your name, whatever you want everybody to know has to be on all the tags or presentation cards whatever you're deciding to make. Now the next thing is bees. Um, we do not want any stick pens with nothing but seed beads. Now uh, a lot of people, I'm not sure if you know what seed beads are, but they're little bitty beads. That's why they're called seed beads. So, we don't allow that. No stick pens with just a bunch of seed beads, okay? We, uh, whenever I do host stick pen swaps, I like to keep the beads as uh, large as possible. So, we're looking for like... You know, 8, 9, 10, 14, 16, 18 millimeters, okay? I'm going to show you an example of from the Halloween swap. And I do encourage charms and bead caps. And you can use spacer beads and seed beads, but only as spacers. You can't use them as your whole um, stick pen. So, uh, like that uh, bead that the spider's on is an 18 millimeter bead. So that's from the Halloween swap. Um, I'll show you another one. And all the stick pens should be two inches or above. And I suggest to find the two and a half and three inch ones because two inches is really not long enough. But I understand that some people cannot get longer stick pens. But can you see the total difference? But if you do use two inch stick pens, you can make them um, just as nice by using really nice quality beads such as these three. Now even though these are only two inches, 
these are really nice beads and bead caps and you can tell it took time to put them together so if you have to use two inch stick pens you know make sure you're using nice beads um, just like on this three inch one now this one's a 16 millimeter bead and as you can see my other little spacer beads aren't seed beads but they are about four and five millimeter and I believe that one's a six millimeter so we do want to keep the swap with quality stick pens quality beads um, nice charms um, nice bead caps just like this one has another spider on it and even though there's only a few beads on this one it's still a really nice stick pen so you don't have to use a lot of beads to make a nice bead uh, stick pen so it's really up to you as long as you're doing quality as far as how many beads you use and um, the size of your beads now this is another one that I really liked from the Halloween one um, that's another 18 millimeter bead that the spider is on but as you can tell I've only got like three on there and it's still really nice because I've got those nice spacers I've got the nice really big bead I mean it's just a nice stick pen so not a whole lot of beads is not always you know the best route to go because you can have something like this that yeah it's got a whole lot of beads but there's not really a lot of uh, interest now these are quality beads yeah but they're all really small and there's a bunch so I would prefer nothing like that now I did previously before I started taping made an example of a classic Christmas stick pen and I used the big red one which is an 18 millimeter and then some gold green and red now that's a nice stick pen this is what we'll be looking for as far as classic Halloween but you could have used silver here's another one with the beads aren't as big but they're quality also a nice one now I've only got these stoppers on there because I haven't glued them down yet uh, make sure that you do glue all your beads down some people only glue the top and the bottom so they'll have some movement you can do that I also suggest glossy accents I've never really had a problem with anybody using glossy accents um, because what had happened at a 4th of July swap I did, um, I'd say 8 of them came and I had to totally redo their beads. Every single stick pen had beads popping off. And I'm just not doing that. that that'll definitely get to return to sender. So, you know, yeah, um, the host is not supposed to do that. Make sure when you do make your pens that you let them sit around a week at least a week so you know if any beads are popping off because like I said uh, the hot glue gun in my opinion and me doing all these uh, swaps it just pops off hot glue guns are not meant for a lot of things and they're definitely not meant for um, beads like I said glossy accents is really the way to go now if you have another clear glue that uh, you know is not gonna pop off great use that but just definitely do not mail them to me until you've set them around for about a week or a week and a half just to make sure your beads aren't popping off now here's a example of a winter wonderland that I put a charm on and as you see I've got some beautiful blues and these are crystal beads and Swarovski's which you know you don't have to use the Swarovski's but crystal beads are nice just use quality beads and uh, if you want to use charms I definitely encourage that and that's just a really nice one too now I wanted to do a um, I wanted to do a uh, New Year's Eve one real quick to show you how easy it is just to find some nice beads and and pop them on there so uh, that's what I'm doing in the background here. I'm going to pick up the camera in a minute and show you guys how I, um, how I do my beads. And the kind of beads that I like to buy. I, I'm cheap and poor. <laughs> so I uh, do a lot of clearance and I'm always out looking for them. 
uh, when I do happen to go out shopping. So my eyes are always open for beads. Always, always. Because beads are expensive and uh, I always have to try to catch them on clearance. So right as I've been talking to you, I have made a nice New Year's Eve pin. Now, that square bead is about a 14 millimeter. So, this is really a, an awesome New Year's Eve bead. Or, New Year's Eve stick pin. And it was that simple for me to put together. Okay, now, I'll show you how I do my beads. I uh, take all my bead caps and, and spacers out and set them on the table. And then I have my bead containers, and I just get all the colors that I think I'm going to use, which these were set out because I was doing um, the last little bit of Halloween ones. So, definitely, you don't have to have as many as I have, which I really don't have a lot compared to what most people, because all I do is do stick pens. I don't do any jewelry. Um, but always you know be on the lookout because stick pens are addicting and they're fun and then as far as gluing when i go to glue i uh will drop each little drop of glue and swirl it to make sure it gets all the way around and then when i push them up i'll make sure they're all straight okay and if i don't have any of those little plastic things what i do is i bring a little piece of styrofoam or a big piece in this case and what I do to make sure that they dry straight is I will push them all the way down to the very last bead. And that will make sure that they're really tight and they're not going to, you know, move while the glue is drying. Because I have had that happen to me when I just was turning them upside down and then they were all crooked. So if you don't have any of the little plastic earring backs to keep them um um, tight on there while they're gluing just find you a piece of styrofoam or anything and just push them all the way down after they're glued and of course after you make sure they're straight on there um, I hope this video helped and I hope these examples also helped of what kind of stick pens we're looking for and the kind of beads that we just want nice quality projects just like anything else and then don't forget just tags or presentation cards and i'll let you know how many we're going to do and how many sets and all the details after the sign ups close so hope y'all sign up bye